Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I thought today, I don't think I've ever done this, someone please correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought I would do a just like camp process, like how you actually can go to camp. And it's so funny because I was thinking about some like different videos I could do in and around camp. And I was like, have I ever actually done one that just explains the process? And I don't think I have, just like initially from like researching, signing up with an agency, interviewing, finding a camp, visas, flights, everything, just like start to finish how the process actually works. Because I feel like I talk about camp so much and just kind of assume that everyone knows one what it is and two how it even works so to briefly summarize the summer camp program is essentially a cultural exchange program and it's where international staff can go abroad and work at summer camps all across america as camp counselors as specialist activity counselors in support staff roles in head staff roles if they're available in so many different job roles to do at camp and essentially go and spend the summer there working and then on the visa that you get you get 30 days to travel before and after your official visa starts and ends and yeah that's essentially it and it's actually so hard to try and describe when you try and like think about the actual description of it but it's essentially just like i say an exchange program where you can go and spend the summer working in the us and yeah as a camp counselor and it's so exciting so yeah i thought today i would just kind of take you through how the process works kind of like how long each part of the process can take and yeah just start to finish and i feel like it's a good time to be posting this because I feel like a lot of people are starting their camp journey for next year which is crazy so yeah i hope you enjoy this video i hope it's helpful as like i say i hope it's helpful for people as well that maybe don't actually know what camp is and that's so fine and again i just assume that people know and not everyone does so yeah thank you for watching and i'm gonna get straight into it okay so initially the first thing i'm going to talk about is research i highly recommend doing your research into agencies into a few camps just to kind of get a feel of what seems like the right fit for you in terms of agencies i can only speak on one agency i've only ever used one agency which i actually love that i can say that i've literally stayed with the same agency my entire summer camp career um I signed up with an agency called Bunak back in 2018 and I actually went off a friend's recommendation. I was literally looking to sign up with Camp America and then one of my friends spoke to me. She's like, oh my God, like I actually went with this agency. You should check them out. So I did and then went with Bunak and was able to earn an amazing salary as a first timer. I always say like you don't go to camp for the money, but earning a nice amount of money alongside doing a really hard job is always really nice. And obviously it gives you more flexibility when it comes to travel, different things. So please look into how much you will get paid from your agency, please. Because a lot of the times, especially at my camp, like when people get paid, everyone gets paid differently depending on the agency that you go with. So please do your research. Every agency will stay on their website how much you will be expected to earn or how much your minimum will be to earn so please have a look so you're not surprised when you get to the end of the summer and you're like oh well all of my friends are earning x amount i only got this what's the reason please do your research because it is all out there the information is all online so yeah like i say i can only talk on one agency i've only ever used bunak and yeah they've been amazing for me i couldn't recommend them enough um like i say i've used them for coming on now seven years which is crazy i even was signed up and obviously used them the two summers that i didn't get to go to camp but all my process was started my application was live my visas were like i was ready and waiting to go to my embassy appointments and then just couldn't go but yeah they've been incredible for me i'm so glad i found them as an agency back when i did and I love that I've been able to share them as an agency with so many of you guys and I know so many of you have gone through Bunak when you've done camps in the past and you've really enjoyed using them as an agency so yeah if you have any tips on any agencies please leave them down below in the comments because I feel like for people wanting to do this for the first time it's always really helpful knowing what other pe people's experiences were again I can only ever speak on what my experience has been that goes for camp as a whole agency processes visa processes everything is all my own opinion and experiences and it's the only thing any of us can go off i have actually just got bunak's website up so i can get all the costs and prices i can give a little breakdown of how it all works how much it costs how much you can expect to earn like i say all this information is taken straight from their website so you can go on any agency website and have a little research and see what you can expect to earn so 
Bunak summer camp salary for 2025 is earning a minimum of 2,250 USD, which is absolutely incredible. And obviously all of your meals and accommodation is included when you're at camp. So you don't pay for any of that, which is incredible. Let's go over to prices of the program. I need to be in pounds. All of it like sets to Australian dollars and it always throws me off. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little breakdown of what it says, like the inclusions of all the things it says that you get obviously with signing up with Bunak. So you obviously get your pre-arranged job placement at a summer camp in America, a minimum final summer camp salary of $2,250, all food and accommodation whilst at summer camp, your J1 camp counsellor visa, access to Bunak summer camp hiring events, pre-departure orientation to prepare you for camp life. This is really good. I remember looking through this and the pre-departure orientation stuff's always really cool. One-on-one -on -one support securing your visas and interviews, 24 seven help on the ground from our partners in the USA, medical insurance during your camp placement, your service US government fee, best friends, mad skills and awesome times is what it says at the end, which I think is so cute. Um, so yeah, there's a lot that is included. And what is amazing about these agencies is that they are there to support you through the entire process. I have a few people message me and say, oh, like I found a camp, like I'm just gonna go with them. Nine times out of 10, you still need an agency to sponsor your visa. So even if you find your camp yourself, you're still gonna have to go through an agency as an international staff to get a visa. It is near impossible to get a visa on your own. As far as I'm aware, I don't know anyone that has ever got a visa, like a J1 visa by themselves, unless your camp can sponsor your visa. So for me, for example, when I first went to camp back in 2018, I found Tyler Hill myself through a family friend, applied directly to them, but still signed up with Bunak as a direct placement because I knew I needed to have an agency to get out to camp, if that makes sense. So your agency is gonna be there to make the whole process so much smoother. And that is one thing that I can really say about Bunak is that the help and guidance I've always got with everything is, Incredible, considering I am about to do my sixth summer at camp, which means my sixth, actually, I think it's my eighth time doing my visa application. Cause like I said, the two years during COVID, I still did do my application. I still don't know what to do on this visa application. They can be really stressful and it can be really overwhelming not knowing where to start, what to do. And they send like a full visa checklist, like all the things that can help you sort your visa, do everything. They are so helpful. And I know that if I need anything, I can always call or email, which I did my first year. I literally emailed and called Bunak so many times my first summer at camp. And that's what they're there for. Like they're there to help. So please don't feel like you can't contact your agency because they're there, like use them. Okay, so in terms of how much summer camp in America costs, as a first timer going to camp, it will cost you 399 pounds paid to Bunak. That is how that works. Your deposit is £49. After your successful interview, it's £200. And then after you have your summer camp placement, it's £150. If you're a returner, you will pay £349. So your deposit is £49. After your interview is £200. And after your summer camp placement is £100. Um, so it's nice that you can pay it in like installments. It's not all paid up in one go because I know that that was one thing that I really looked into when I was looking at agencies before is that paying 400 quid up front when I was like 19 years old was just not feasible. So it's so nice that you can just break it down and it comes out in stages and you can pay it across however many months the whole process takes you. Okay, the extra cost that you do have to take into account is your police check, which is 18 pound, but it can depend on your nationality. It's 18 pound if you're based in the UK. Your US Embassy J1 visa fee is 185 US dollars. And then it says that you need proof of support funds, $800, you don't need to pay that. It's just normally if you were to say get to the border as you're going to camp, they will wanna know that you, not always, I've never been asked personally, but I do know people that have, is they might say, oh, like, can you just prove that you have enough money to kind of cover yourself for the first however many weeks until you were to get paid. Um, and then your flights, which will completely vary, obviously depending on where you're from, where you're flying to, what dates you'll go in, and then travel insurance. Now, it does say, obviously, that you, you're covered with, travel insurance with Bunak whilst at camp. Me personally, I always take out an additional insurance policy because technically if you're only covered whilst at camp, that means you're traveling to camp isn't covered. If you're ever on like time off or when you're traveling after, that wouldn't be covered in the insurance policy that Bunak provides. And honestly, more just for peace of mind and knowing that you've got it all set up and sorted, especially with obviously medical stuff in the US, it's just better to be safe than sorry, honestly. So that is kind of a breakdown of pricing. So that's kind of when you start this whole process, that's what you'll be looking at. You'll be looking at how much things cost, how much you're gonna earn, what is included with that agency. And 
once you've decided which agency you're going to sign up with like i said i've always used bunak if you do want to sign up with bunak i will leave all the details down below and you can also use the code vic25 to save 25 pound on your fees so that brings what is it 399 pound take away 25 <laughs> 374 is that right i think maths was never my strong suit um but yeah so i'll leave that all linked down below so you can have a little look and um, like i said do some research and then when you are signed up with an agency when you're good to go you're in their hands they will take good care of you they will tell you which stages you need to do at which point obviously there'll be an application that you do initially which is your base application that is kind of what will be out there for your agency to see and then for camps to see when you send your application out to them so go into detail with this application like make it fun make it exciting big yourself up don't be afraid to go into lots of detail and you will normally then just have a quick agency interview i when i first signed up with bunak mine was like an in-person one so i actually traveled to manchester and had an interview in a little travel store in manchester city center now it's all done online and virtually which is actually a lot easier um, and this is basically just to check that you're eligible for the program go over your application stuff and um, talk about potential job roles that you might like to do if you have a type of camp that you have in mind that you maybe want to work at for the summer and um, just kind of like get to know you just very chill very much just to make sure that you'll be a good fit for the program essentially and then when you are successful with that interview and the camp team are there to say yep you're good to go off on your way we can start pushing you out to camp so we can start seeing what's available that is when the whole camp process kind of really starts and with bunak they actually have something again sorry this is all going to be very bunak specific because like i said this is only basing on my experience with bunak and i know the program inside and out they actually have something really cool called camp matching which is where you can kind of take your summer camp placement into your own hands like years and years ago it used to be a case of like you were assigned to a camp and you had very little say on where you wanted to go and where you spent your summer and now you have so much more control over where you want to work at and this camp matching platform is really cool because you're able to kind of almost like swipe through camps see different camps see if there's any that are hiring that are hiring for a position that you're interested in and you can then reach out to them they can also reach out to you and um, and you can just have a little look there and see what camps are available and there's always obviously loads of camps in the hiring pool to have a look through which is always so great i wonder if i can get on my like punak portal to show you um how that looks let's see it's always so mad to see all of my um different placements because i've obviously got from 2018 on my profile which is crazy okay so let's just view my application for last year and see how it looks okay so obviously this is from last year so everything's complete and everything's done um but normally your applicant information it will have like a photo of you your name your earliest arrival date and latest departure date that's really key make sure that's accurate because that's going to base on what camps can reach out like if for example you say you can't you can't arrive in the us until the 15th of june that means that any camps that start on the 10th of june won't be able to reach out to you because obviously you're not going to be in the country so something to bear in mind make sure that is accurate um and then yeah there's obviously all your contact information health information education employment and um, your contracts will go in there any photos and videos that you have to upload so yeah it is a very straightforward application and like i said your agency will be able to help you through the whole process that is what they're there for they're there to help and support and make sure you know what you're doing at all times and um, i can't remember if it's before or after your camp placement that you can apply for your police check but either way again your agency will tell you oh like now is good to do your police check here's a link from whichever country you're from and then you're good to go and then just apply for that and um, my police checks have always come back really fast or within like a week i want to say um, and then all you do is take a picture of your certificate upload it to your um account and then that is like ticked off and you're good to go with that then obviously you'll be in the process of finding a camp if you have been applying to camps direct yourself or if you've been going through a hiring pool or if you've been going to hiring fairs which be not do actually have some hiring fairs coming up which again i'll leave some information linked down below for that um obviously if you go to hiring fairs in person it's really nice because you actually get to meet these camps in person and can get your personality across a lot better than you can in like an application or an interview so it is really nice that you get to see these camps face to face um so yeah however you end up finding your camp when you have secured your position secured your job role they will send you your contract which again you will just upload to your account and then that will just kind of confirm that 
you have a job placement ready to go, you know what your start date's gonna be, you know what your end date's gonna be, you know where in America you're gonna be working, and then that's when you can officially start like prepping for the summer and you know where you're gonna be, like I say, flying into, and you can start looking at flights, you can start looking at travel arrangements, and yeah, it just becomes really exciting when you have your camp placement and you're good to go. And then next up comes the visa application. Now I have done a whole video on the visa application. If I can find it, I'll link it. Um, the visa application is a lot. I'm not gonna lie to you, it is a lot. But like I say, your agency will support you through it and there should be, like Bunak send like a full checklist, like a full um, step-by-step -step on how to complete it, which is so helpful. Like I said, this is my eighth time doing this visa application and for some reason it doesn't get any easier and yeah it's just I feel like it's always intimidating doing any visa applications but when you're doing one for America as well you feel like ah this is stressful um but yeah they're super it is actually super straightforward when you have the support and you know what you're supposed to be doing and what you're supposed to be putting where um and yeah and then once you've done your visa application you'll be able to book your embassy appointment now that's something that a lot of people reach out to me that don't actually realize you do have to go to an in-person um embassy appointment you have to go to the embassy which is honestly terrifying when I first went to the embassy and I say it's not terrifying I thought it was terrifying and the first time I had to go down to London my mom came with me and I was in there for like four hours and it was a lot like it was a long process for the fact that your interview itself is so short it is the quickest interview process ever um but yeah you will get sent a whole list of what you need to take to your embassy appointment please make sure you have everything because if you don't you have to then go away bring it all back and it's a whole process and so yeah please make sure you have everything there are some really important documents that you need to take with you to that appointment and um, the appointment itself is fine again i think i've done a visa embassy appointment video um it's so fine you literally go up and you speak to someone they do like your fingerprints they take all your documents they give them back to you you sit back down you wait for your number to be called again and you go back up and they literally just say what you're doing like what you're gonna be doing in america i'm like oh, i'm gonna be a camp counselor what's your camp called tyler hill camp what are you gonna be doing there oh i'm a gymnastics counsellor is like all right you're good to go and it is really i mean for me it's always been very straightforward and very smooth just make sure you've got everything make sure you've got everything with you and then you don't even have to stress about needing anything else and then obviously they keep your passport so please make sure you haven't booked any travel in and around your embassy appointment i think they advise sometimes like maybe like two to three weeks make sure you've not got anything booked for my my visa's always been back i think within like seven to ten days which has always been pretty handy you can either choose to have it shipped back to you or you can go back and pick it up obviously depending on where you are in the country go and like going and picking it up or having it shipped back whatever is easier for you and then once you've got your visa you're then ready to book your flights and start going that is something that your agency will recommend is to not book your flights until you have your visa confirmed um so you can start obviously looking at flights you can start pricing things up beforehand you can start having a look where you might want to fly into but you like you're told not to book anything beforehand just obviously to make sure everything is fine with your visa and that you are actually good to go and then yeah literally you can start your summer camp shopping you can start prepping you can start getting excited um and then yeah, the process is honestly really easy and really straightforward, especially when you've got guidance from an agency to help you through it all. And obviously you've got your camp there as well. Like use your camp for information, for asking questions, for getting to know people going to your camp. Um, but yeah, I wanna say the process, I mean, like I normally, I normally get my visa in and around January time and that's normally set and sorted. And I try and book my flights come February and then I know I don't really have anything else to worry about for the last four months on the run up to camp um but that's normally just because i've been i would like move around a lot and travel and be here there and everywhere so it's nice to have my visa sorted so that i'm not then panicking about when i have to leave my passport somewhere but everyone is going to be slightly different in terms of when they get hired when they can apply for their visa when they can book their flights but yeah it is a really exciting process and even just talking about this now is like crazy to think that summer camp 2025 is ready to go um and yeah, I'm actually going to be doing my visa appointment in England for the first time in three years, which is crazy. For the last three years, I've done it in Sydney, which is something I did actually have someone ask me is how do I do an embassy appointment if I'm like traveling or in a different country? And it is the exact same process. Again, something to check with your agency as to what they would advise and how it all works. But for me, I've been out in Australia, like I say, for the last three visa runs, if that makes sense. The last three times I've been doing my visa for camp and 
yeah all i've done is literally gone to the embassy in sydney it's been a really smooth process honestly it was a lot smoother than going to london but that's just because it's a smaller embassy and there's not as many people out in australia going to camp as there is from the uk um but yeah it's been super easy you just do the exact same process you just put that your embassy appointment place is going to be somewhere that isn't your home which is fine so yeah that is the process i hope i've made that seem a little bit easier to understand like i said all of these agency websites will have really good breakdowns of what is included how the process works I'll, i will leave all of bunak's info and websites tagged down below so you can have a little look if you do want to research into them um and yeah, if you have any questions about anything, whether it's the process or applications or anything else, please feel free to reach out. And if you have any other camp video ideas that you want to see, again, please let me know. I am really, really trying to put these out in a chronological order that makes sense. So far, I think I'm off to a pretty good start. I've recorded, this is my third video I've recorded today. And I feel like they all make sense to be in and around now. I think this time last year, I was already posting like my summer camp shopping hauls. And I'm like, come on now, like that needs to be saved until at least the new year <laughs> if not way closer i did so many summer camp shopping haul videos last year it was actually dangerous but i just love shopping and i love shopping for camp oh honestly though the amount of stuff i have at camp now is a joke like when am i actually going to turn around and be like okay you don't actually need anything else for camp but i always do and i'm always going to find something else to have but yeah thank you so much for watching guys i hope this has been helpful and i'll see you in the next video